I'm Tara and this is the second time I'm filming this video because uh, I filmed a couple videos the other day. I was tweaking some things with my camera settings and whatnot and I don't know, they just didn't come out great. So I was just gonna post them but I decided to redo them. Anyway, <laughs> um, you probably don't care, but it's the truth. Today I want to talk to you about some fragrances from the skincare, well primarily skincare brand Decorte. Um, so I have these little fragrances here. This is a sample set, if it will ever zoom. There you go. So you can see the name of the company. So Decorte has, like I said, a lot of skincare. I think they're a Korean skincare company, if I remember correctly. But they also make makeup. Um, I've used their like foundation and things like that before. And then they've recently come out with a set of four different fragrances. Now these, of course, are just minis that um, I received as a gift with purchase. And I was excited to get these because I was actually quite quite curious about these because um, if you've seen the bottles before, like online somewhere, they're really pretty. Um, and I was just kind of curious because I think Decorte in the past has had fragrances, but they haven't for a while. Um, so, you know, these are kind of new and I was curious. So anyway, I couldn't find anything like in terms of reviews on these. So I figured I would go ahead and do this. That way I can share my thoughts with you all. And um, it might be helpful since there doesn't doesn't seem to be a whole lot of information out there on these. So like I said, they just came out with four fragrances and uh, here is just an example of what one of these little mini bottles looks like. Uh, but I'll put a picture of a full-size bottle somewhere, probably over here, <laughs> um, so you can see. And the bottles all look pretty much the same, except I think the shade of the ribbon around them changes slightly from one to the next. Uh, and they all begin with the word kimono, so you have to be kind of careful about which one you're looking for. In this set, well, I have all of them, but there's kimono Kihin, I have no idea how you pronounce that. K-I-H-I-N. There's also Kimono Rin, Kimono Yui, and Kimono Yuara. As you might have guessed, these little mini bottles are dabbers, which you all know, I don't do dabbers. So I've decanted, you can even probably tell that there's not much left in there because I've decanted the fragrances into spray bottles so that I could actually spray them and test them out more like normal. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. This won't be too long of a video since I only have four fragrances to talk about. I have worn a couple of these like with full wearings. The other two, I just didn't care for the scent as much so I didn't bother to give it a wear test, but I will just go ahead and put this out there. The longevity, at least on the two that I wore, which I'll tell you when I get to them, the longevity wasn't terrible considering they're very light, light scents. These are all eau de toilette concentration and the scents themselves are fairly light, some less uh, so than others, but in general, the longevity wasn't too bad, maybe six hours, five to six hours. However, the projection was fairly minimal um, at most, like at the strongest point, kind of towards the opening. One of the two I could maybe smell from an arm's length away, but the other one maybe even less than that. So they don't really project a ton, a little bit, not a ton, but for an eau de toilette, they lasted kind of a normal amount of time, like I said, five to six hours. So let's start with Kimono Kihin, the one I can't pronounce. <laughs> um, this was probably my least favorite of the bunch. Uh, I have the little decant here, but you know what the bottle looks like, I already showed it. Um, so this one, it's very, very light. And I think that was kind of my first issue with it is that it's Definitely the lightest of the bunch. And like I said, these are all light fragrances. This one though, I mean, the opening is pleasant. You get a lot of citrus. It seems like there could be several different types of citrus, but um, I would say probably grapefruit is what stands out the most to me. There's also, I think this one's supposed to have Japanese iris in it. I don't know how that differs from normal iris, but I get light florals, maybe even, maybe even jasmine. Um, but very, very light. And then in the base, I mostly get patchouli um, and perhaps a little bit of, maybe a bit of vanilla and I think some white, very light, like kind of white musks, really clean kind of musks. This as a whole is a fairly clean fragrance, but it is sort of a, to me, a citrus patchouli combo, which 
as you all know, something like Coco Mademoiselle would be a very popular fragrance in that style. This is much lighter than that, um, but it's just not my style. So first of all, it's incredibly light, and second of all, it's not my style. So that's why this one didn't really impress me much. But if you do like that sort of style of fragrance and you want something that's just really light and refreshing, maybe this would be one to try out. Um, I would say try to get a sample if you can. I don't really know how you can go about doing that except for maybe on their website. Um, but I would not recommend blind buying this because I feel like people might be disappointed with how it performs. So anyway, that one was Kimono Kihin. Um, and now we're going to move on to Kimono Yuara. Before we do move on to the next one, I forgot to mention the perfumers behind Kimono Kihin. Uh, the Corte actually lists the perfumers for each fragrance on their site, which I really appreciate because I think you know, it's very important that we give credit to the creators of these fragrances. I hope that more and more companies start to do that. Um, but anyway, the two behind Kimono Kihin are not super familiar to me. Their names are Delphine Lebeau and Nelly Hakim Ruiz. So I'm not sure, maybe you've heard of them before, but uh, Delphine... No, I don't even think I've heard of her. I know Delphine Joe, but that's a different one. Um, so yeah, I'm not super familiar with them, but if you know who they are, leave me some information below. So Kimono Yuara was also created by Delphine Lebeau, and this one, it's a little bit sharp to my nose. This is another sort of fruity, floral combo, but in this case, I would say, again, probably different citruses are in here. To me, it smells maybe like a mandarin or orange kind of thing going on, more so than maybe other citruses. But I also get a bit of like a, a green melony kind of thing, like a honeydew melon. Um, and I would say, although it doesn't remind me of light blue, I could see where this might be kind of like a citrus apple combo. And I know everybody's gonna think light blue when I say that, it doesn't smell like light blue, but kind of has that same combo. I also pick up what I think smells to me like lily. I'm not sure if it's lily of the valley or what, but that's what it kind of smells like to me for the floral. There's probably other florals, but that's what I pick up. And so it's kind of like this green honeydew melon with citrus, maybe some apple. So like I said, lots of like um, sort of green and citrusy kinds of fruits. And then I get this lily sort of note with a base that's kind of maybe the tiniest bit woody, but mostly like a clean musk. Um, I don't love it. Like I said, it's a little bit sharp to me and it's just, there's just so many fruity florals now that it's like almost, I don't know, this just kind of falls into that type of fragrance that I'm like, I've smelled this a thousand times. Does it smell like anything right off the bat? Like I can say, oh, it smells like this. No, but it just smells like everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like when you go into like an Ulta um, or a Sephora and you smell kind of the popular uh female marketed designer fragrances there. You know, there are some good ones. There are a lot of good ones, but a lot of them all just kind of have this generic fruity floral smell. And that's what I get from this. The next one up is one that I do enjoy. It's called Kimono Yi, and this was created by Caroline Demur. Again, not super familiar with this perfumer, but this one, I, this is another one that I think is fairly generic. Like I've smelled this before, but I find it to be more pleasant. Um, Probably because to me I get rose in this and I do really like rose. I would say this is also like heavy citruses in the opening. There could be a touch of like a pink pepper in here because it does have a little bit of that kind of brightness that pink pepper gives to fragrances. You know, not like overly spicy, but just like a bit of, um, I don't know, a bit of punch there. And then I would say that this again has musks and a light touch of wood. I would say this one kind of smells like cedar to me. Uh, the other one, I'm not really sure what it was, but this one kind of smells like a really light touch of cedar with some clean musks. Um, but to me, mostly it's like a bright rose citrus kind of combo. Um, and very pleasant. This is one that I tried. This one probably lasted not quite as long as the other one I'm gonna talk about in just a minute. So maybe four to five hours on this one, but it's pleasant enough. It's something that I'll probably throw in my gym bag um, to use as a gym scent since it is fairly light. And like I said, it's got a lot of citrus in there, so I don't think it would be too much to wear to the gym. Um, but again, not something I buy a full bottle of. 
All right, and the last one is called Kimono Rin, and this was my favorite, mostly because to me it smelled the most unique of the bunch compared to other fragrances out there. So this one was created by Julian Raskinet, or Raskinet, um, and I definitely get a lot of patchouli in this, which as you probably know, is not my favorite note, um, but like I said, this one is more unique overall, so I just found it uh, more interesting to wear. I think also this one has a touch of vetiver in it, but in the opening, I get a lot of fruits again. I think there could be, I think it was plum that's in here. So I can kind of get something like that, but again, citrus, like all of these, I think they're kind of geared to be these like light refreshing fragrances because all of them open with citrus. This one again, I pick up uh, rose and something else. I don't know what else, but some other kind of floral. But I get like a, a light touch of like a watery sort of rose with the combo of patchouli, which you know, rose patchouli is a pretty popular combination. Um, but I think I like it because it does have, I think a little bit of depth from the patchouli and what I think is vetiver in there. And in addition to the citruses, there's some other fruit, like I said, I think it's plum that's in here, but it just makes it a little bit more of a unique combination than the other three. This one did last probably about six hours on my skin when I wore it the other day. Um, like I said, didn't project really far or anything, but I could smell it, so um, that's totally fine. Do I think I'll buy a bottle of even Kimono Rin? No, absolutely not. I don't think I'll buy a bottle of any of these, unfortunately, because the bottles are really pretty. Um, and I think that they're for 50 mil, $75, so they're not like insanely expensive and usually Decorte does run sales on their website so you could probably get them for less than that. But either way, uh, it's kind of a disappointment to be quite honest. I think that maybe if you're looking for a gift, especially for a younger uh, woman, that these might be a good option because I don't think any of them would offend anyone. Like none of these smell bad to me, but they're just not interesting. And like I said, they're really light. So if you wanted to gift a fragrance in a really pretty bottle to, like I said, probably a little bit younger person, um, then this might be a great option. But otherwise I can't recommend these to anyone. Unfortunately, uh, it was fun to try them but just what it is, right? So those are my thoughts on the Decorte Kimono range. Have any of you actually tried these fragrances before? And if so, what do you think? Please leave me a comment below. Cause like I said, I have seen almost nothing on them. Uh, this is just my one opinion. So, you know, I hope that this is helpful so that you at least have one opinion on these before thinking about buying them. But I hope that maybe some other people will start doing reviews on YouTube or on Fragrantica or wherever you can find reviews um, because it's difficult to sample these and um, there's just not much information out there. So anyway, I do hope this was helpful. So please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.